Small Faces were totally unique. I mean, they made fabulous music, of course. The East End of London's own Booker T. But it wasn't just about the music, it was about the overall image. I mean, the band looks almost manufactured. They look that good. You know, they're all, all the same height. And they all had accounts in Carnaby Street shops. Most of them are, are long here, long since gone. Um, you can even buy a Steve Marriott week, would you believe, in John Stevens? <laughs> Uh, but they, they, they were a fabulous band, I mean, and by 1966, when the Beatles had stopped touring, they were probably the hottest thing in the land. Uh, you know, absolutely un fantastic. And this, this tribute, 40 years later, is, is long overdue. As for Don Alden, I mean, Don Alden's had lots of um, negative press in the, uh, over the years, but uh, what I would like to say is Steve Marriott always used to say, without Don Alden, there would have been no small faces. And Don Arden was, of course, that was Mr. Big, and um, this, this tribute is every bit about Don as much as the small faces. Um, okay, I'd like to give a few thanks, first of all. I mean, Val Whedon, MBE, down the front here. And Val was the person that instigated this right from day one. And without, without Val, we wouldn't be here today. A round of applause for Val. Okay. Also, Mick, Mick Taylor, Mick's um, over the last few months has been working endlessly, sort of, you know, r promoting the uh, the plaque and actually uh, helping with r raising the funds to pay for it. Yeah. We've also, um, yeah, Mick. Yeah, Mick. Okay, well, Small Faces Fan Club secretaries, Pauline and Fran, both here today. Pauline's down the front.